I have perfected a skincare routine that really works for my skin. I've seen a definite change in how my skin looks and feels. You're definitely going to see a change in your skin pretty quickly. Well, this video is going to get you there. Hey glitter babes, it's Kelly and welcome back to my channel. So if you're looking for a nighttime routine that is effective and see a change in your skin, if you have dry skin like me, then let me take you right through my routine. So the first step with any skincare routine is obviously cleansing. When you have makeup on in general, you just want to make sure that you are taking all of it off and sometimes just putting on one cleanser isn't enough. You don't get real deep and down into your skin with one product. So that's why I like doing a double cleanse. And I do this step in the shower because I don't know about you, but I hate getting water all over my hands and arms and stuff. So I don't like washing my face over a sink because of that reason. So I do this step in the shower. So I've already cleansed my face and my favorite double cleanse has to be the Pixie Double Cleanse. Here's both sides and on the one side you got the oil which this goes on first because it really melts away your makeup and even the hard to remove mascaras and all of that stuff. So this goes on first. You don't really need much of the oil to take away everything, especially when you're doing a double cleanse. And the second step really just ensures that you have all your makeup gone and you're ready to go for the next step. The next step in my nighttime skincare routine is exfoliating. And I like using an exfoliator that is not too harsh, something that I can use at least a few times a week. I like going to another Pixi product for this, and that is the Peel and Polish Resurfacing Concentrate. It contains natural fruit enzymes that effectively go in there and lift up and remove all the dead skin cells super gentle and overall it has helped my skin look more smooth more radiant more just lively in general and what i do is i just take a pea-sized amount and after i've applied it and massaged it into my skin i like waiting a couple minutes to let it really lift those dead skin cells and after that stage my skin feels so soft and so smooth and even brighter so after exfoliating we move on to toning depending on what you're looking for you can go for a glycolic acid or a lactic acid i like using a lactic acid for my toning step my go-to toner is the lactic acid 10% plus hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. It helps with giving your skin tone a more even appearance. It helps with fine lines and textural irregularities. So if you have any roughness like, like I do along the jawline, this is a great type of direct acid to use. And what I like doing for this step is taking out a cotton pad and putting down a few drops on that pad and smoothing it all over my face. As if your skin couldn't feel any softer, it really does feel so soft and so smooth after those last two steps. Next step in my nighttime skincare routine is essence. And in this step, I like putting on a hydrating mist. And for that, I go to another Pixi product in my collection, which is the Hydrating Milky Mist. And this contains hyaluronic acid, black oat, so it's very hydrating, very soothing for the skin. So what I do before I continue on with my routine, I've really been enjoying derma rolling, and it's where you use a device like this. If you look up close, it has these tiny little needles on it. And I got one of the smallest ones, so it's not gonna be super harsh on my skin. So what I do once my skin has a little bit of moisture added onto it is I'll start to rub this 
around and what it does is it creates tiny little holes all around your face that ensures that the products that you put on following this step are going to be more effective for you. The next step in my routine is this is where I start doing my treatments. And for this step, I like adding on another moisturizing product. I use my hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 from The Ordinary and it just helps with the hydration and help repairing my skin. So I will just use a few drops and smooth it in and then pat it on afterwards. And I'm not done with my treatments after that step because I really love just taking good care of my skin. I like putting on a sheet mask and this is where I just really enjoy the whole process. I look forward to the sheet mask more than anything because it just helps me relax and wind down after a long stressful day. For this step, I always go to my masquerade masks. I've got a whole wackadoodle pile of them. I like that there is one for every kind of concern that you would have. I'm on a firming smoothing kick right now with my skincare. I'm going to go with my I don't want to grow up mask. I just love this because it has chamomile, it has collagen so it helps with the collagen levels in your skin and it has argan oil so it's really gonna moisturize it and give it that nice renewed rejuvenated effect. The next step in my routine is an eye cream. One of my favorites is the confidence in an eye cream from It Cosmetics. This one is really good because it kind of does a mix of everything so it brightens up my eyes it helps repair them and helps just rejuvenate them, make them look as youthful as possible. I will apply a few dots underneath my eyes and then I'll even go above. And I just pat it in. You can obviously see that my eye area looks a little more brighter and refreshed. Depending on how my face feels, I like adding more hydration. I'm all about the hydration. I've got a couple oils in my collection. This is my 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. And I like putting this on before my moisturizer because it is locked in, it sinks in faster and just doesn't have any of those barriers in the way. I really only use a few drops of this and it covers my whole face and I even apply it like elsewhere like on my neck and chest. Last but not least is moisturizing. If I'm not feeling too dry I will put on my Biotherm Blue Therapy Red Algae uplift. It helps brighten up your skin. It smells really good. If I do have a moisturizer that I really want to use that is just not as effective as others in giving me the hydration that my skin needs, I will add in my Indeed Laboratories Hydration Booster. That's what I'll do today. So I just add a little bit of this, mix it all together. Along with moisturizing my face, I have to moisturize my lips. The lip mask that I use at night that I've really been loving since I purchased it is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I think it is incredible. It smells like watermelon, so it's just just nice and yummy and just super soothing to the lips. Just take a little bit because you really don't need that much for this. This tub will last you forever. After all of that is done, I can sleep comfortably and happily knowing that I'm taking care of my skin. If you have dry skin as well, you are going to see the results of this pretty quickly. You're definitely going to see a change in your skin. It's going to look healthier. It's going to look plumper. It's going to look softer, smoother, hydrated. Let me know what you think of this routine. Leave me a comment below what products you've been loving if you have dry skin. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more routines and more tutorials, things to just help you feel more confident in applying your makeup and applying your skincare. I hope you found this video helpful and until next time, bye glitter babes.